Sussex down in mouth. Queen holds the most imposing christening in history but passes over Lilibet. On Sunday afternoon, Queen Elizabeth II, 95, was among guests attending Zara Tyndall and Princess Eugenie's joint christening for their royal babies. Close friends and immediate family members gathered for the ceremony held at All Saints Chapel in Great Windsor Park. Images from the event show Eugenie and Jack Brooks Bank beaming as they arrived at the ceremony for the baptism of their first child August who was born in February. Zara and Mike Tyndall arrived in separate cars for the occasion, during which their third child Lucas Philip Tyndall, born in March, was christened alongside his second cousin. Her Majesty's attendance comes after a series of cancelled engagements from the monarch following her overnight stay in hospital last month. Last weekend, Her Majesty was forced to pull out of attending the Remembrance Sunday service in London after spraining her back. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams told that it was extremely good news to see the Queen back in action after her period of rest. He added that the ceremony would have likely seen some traditions being observed, such as the wearing of the replica of the Honiton gown, a royal christening gown. He said, it is extremely good news that the Queen attended the joint christening today and it is to be hoped this will be the first of many engagements she will be able to attend in the coming months. It will have brought her much personal pleasure to attend this important event in the lives of two of her great-grandchildren. It was decided to keep this, at All Saints Chapel, Royal Lodge, a private event. Some may speculate on the absence of any official photographs or information about it, but there is no real public interest in it and it is understandable that those involved would wish for complete privacy. Undoubtedly some charming royal christening traditions will have been observed. The replica of the Honiton gown was last worn by Archie, the eldest child of Prince Harry, 37, and Meghan Markle, 40, in 2019. Notably, Mr. Fitzwilliams pointed out that there had yet to be any information about the baptism of the youngest child of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. He said, Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall brought back some bottles of holy water from the River Jordan, which is used in royal baptisms, on their recent trip. There has been no information as to when or where Lilibet, the Sussex's second child, is to be baptized. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who stepped away from royal duties in 2020, welcomed their daughter Lilibet Diana in June. The couple christened their first child Archie, now two, in a private ceremony two months after he was born. Archie was baptized in the private chapel at Windsor Castle. The couple released photos, taken by photographer Chris Allerton, just a few hours after the ceremony took place. Meghan and Harry have not released any information as to whether they plan to christen their daughter or as to whether a ceremony has already taken place. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry reportedly won't be joining Queen Elizabeth and the rest of the royal family for the holidays this year. An invitation has been extended to the Duke and Duchess to head over to Sandringham for the royal's traditional Christmas gathering, but multiple royal sources have confirmed to the outlet that they won't be attending. There's a lot that goes into the logistics and the planning of the family Christmas, so of course, staff know that Harry and Meghan are not coming, one royal source explained. If they were, they would have communicated it to their family by now. But this is Her Majesty's first Christmas without her husband, so one would have hoped they would want to be with her. Sussexes don't want to cause the inevitable headlines that the trip would bring, while the source says I think everyone understands there will be a frenzy when they both come back to the UK, but they need to rip the band-aid off and get on with it.